Hey everyone, haven't done an update for a few weeks. You yeah, can clean up, start and look a bit cleaner in the shed. That's no there all over there, something cleaner, still on a few things, been busy going out, whatnot. Um but little brother got me this. He said he found out bush, so probably one of those things I'm probably not to ask questions for. It is an old Primus camp stove. And I thought, well, not many people know how to start these things, so I thought I'd show you how. Um I've had it running already to see if it run. I might fire it on the gas torches later. But uh, we'll do a stove for now. It's much easier to explain the stove. The first thing you do, you get your metho, which is your clear liquid. Oh, well, obviously, didn't have much left and it's pretty old. This household kerosene I found at a job somewhere. I'm going to buy some more and fill it up as much as I can. That's so it's got about half that bottle in there, which should be probably about 250 mils. Um, which is that cap there. Um, that's your air breather, so to start it, you wind that out. I'll just sit the camera down for a second here. Sit there, you bugger. There we are. Pour some mess out into that little tray here. There we go. There's the metho on that little tray there, just below the flame there. Um, you then get a match or blow torches I'm using to light the metho. Doesn't take much. And you sit here and wait. Not long, it'll get going in a second. And make sure that's open. You know, wait till that metho starts bubbling away quite quickly. It'll take a few seconds. What that does is heat it all up, heat the air and heat the the kerosene jet up. It's bubbling quite aptly now. Wait a little bit more. You know, wait till it's nearly all gone. Zoom in on there. It's obviously a little bit leaky, that's why there's a flame underneath. You know what do you call it? Bush fresh, I suppose. He said he found he showed me a file next to a log, so I believe he found beside a log out an old camping area. Right, it's time to close that. You close that, you this little knob here, and you pump like crazy. Green flames mean kerosene's going out. Hopefully it will take. I think it's taken. I'll pump it a bit more. Sit that there. There we go. Make sure that's all closed. A bit more. I think. Oh no! Come on, kerosene. Oh, the kerosene is now escaping. The methos run out, so I'll give a bit of extra help. Now I'll turn the camera off and get it going. There we are. It is going now. Um, I think I'm running low on kerosene. This kerosene appears to be quite old. It's not going. I have primed up too much, which causes the flame to ignite too high above the sort of burner there, so it's trying to ignite in mid-air, so it won't work. 
because it uses the heat of that to ignite, which is what the method does, heats that up. So you can use a modern uh, modern blowtorch to heat this up, which will ignite the which will ignite this. So that's why I'm warming up the ring thing to try and get it to go. But I reckon the jet's quite dirty, so and there's not much kerosene left. Like I said, the bushfire haven't cleaned up at all. Yeah. Yeah, he set the kerosene escaping under pressure. So if you put that there, it should. And it's very staggery, so I reckon that's the problem. She's a very dirty jet. And probably very old kerosene. Nonetheless, so there you are, that stove's been told by a collector. It's not like Clexies. I decided to keep this one as it's a bush find, see a little moss on it. Um there's a bush find because it's interesting it's quite complete so I've got a few others I might try and light them up this is the most complete one I've got I think hmm and the list see you later there it is working properly cooking away no flame in the bottom section here it all ignites the top cup there put a pot of water on top no cast iron one I found which is nearly boiling look at that I also got to tell you how to turn them off. You simply release that there, you that hiss, there's a little article pressure out of there. So now there'll be no pressure in there at all. Um, that was when it stopped burning for a second, it leaked over. Unfortunate nonetheless, there we are.